are loaded up. We've got the uh, fish barrel in the back. Uh, got a couple of nets for offloading them when we get to dad's. Uh, but we're loaded up, headed to Garner. We're headed to Foster Lake and Pond Management. It's actually a company I've worked with almost 10 years, uh, about five, six, seven years ago. Um, we're meeting up with Mitchell Morton. He's the current um, CEO over there, and also the head fisheries biologist. So he's hooking us up on a Saturday, picking up some trout, going to get a few largemouth bass as well, and maybe even a couple catfish. Hudson said he wanted some catfish, didn't you, buddy? And trout, yep. So looking forward to it. Been wanting to do this for a couple of years now, and we're finally, finally going to make it happen. So uh, let's head to Garner. Let's, we'll show you around Foster's and let you see what they have going on there. Looking forward to it. Weekend adventure wouldn't be complete without some Chick-fil-A. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken mini. Here we are. Pulling in. These tanks, Hudson, they're all full of fish. Look at that. See? Huh? Look at those catfish, buddy. Whoa. That's awesome. Bagging the fish up. See how he puts them in the bag? Auger Cobb is he's been here about two and a half, three years. Filling up the tank. Yeah. All right. So we're, right, we're going to pull down to where the trout are. Okay. We're going to pull right down here, buddy. All right, hold on tight. Don't let the water spill. All right, we've got a couple catfish, a couple largemouth bass. Now we're going to pull down here to pick up the trout. They keep them in a real pond down here. not to fall in the pond here. They keep these trout in a cage down here at the pond. That way they get fresh water because they require a lot of oxygen. Did you get wet, buddy? That was a little bumpy, wasn't it? Here, come here. Let me help you get out of here. Lie down on this. Yep. Dip in there and I'll hand it. And I can just come dump them? And you just go and just count right. some out. Perfect. I would say we don't want more than 30 in there. Okay. Excited? I see one. Now, are they all rainbow, Mitchell, or any of them brown? These are all rainbow. All rainbow. Oh, wow. Yeah, you, you have instant gratification. Oh, my word. Look how big they are, Hudson. One, two, three, four, 13, 14, 15. That was a fatty. Look at all that oxygen there, buddy. See all the bubbles coming up? Watch them. One, we don't, we don't like two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's that total? 24. 24. I forgot that the airhead was going to be on it, so it's not going to fit through that hole. But that I, one's. Well, that one's rigid enough though, it shouldn't mash it. Okay. It and I was going to put a bungee if I could. Well, I think I'm more excited than Hudson is. Those trout are huge. That is exciting. I thought they were going to be like six, eight inch fish and I was going to have to grow them out. But those things are already a solid pound, I bet. Those things are big. So I am really excited. What are you doing? Are you feeding them? Oh, did you put some minnows in there? Yeah. Now, what strain of bass are those? These are northerns. Northern, okay. Mitchell's got yeah, something got for it. Oh, ho, ho. look you, at buddy. that hat. You're very welcome. Thank you for saying thank you. I think that's going to fit you perfect, buddy. Look at you. 
too cute, buddy. You look cool. Hey, what did Mr. Mitchell give you? A new hat. A new hat. He got in the truck and said, I really like my new hat. Well, that was a lot of fun. So we got 29 rainbow trout and about six or eight largemouth bass and about six or eight uh, channel catfish. So we are loaded up. We've got the trout on oxygen and we're gonna make the hour drive to Dad's farm. And uh, we'll catch up with you then. We'll get these trout put in the water. We made it about an hour and five minute drive and uh, hoping those trout are okay back there. You excited, buddy? Yeah. Got an excited boy. He wanted to make a YouTube video. Hudson says, we need a bigger pond. I tend to agree. We're working with what we got. This pond was originally dug just to irrigate apple trees. And it kind of turned into, we might as well put a dock on it. And then we decided we might as well put some fish in it. So we're just having fun with what we got. Let's get these trout put in. All right, this is pretty cool. Dad had mentioned this, but one of the cypresses we planted, what, three years ago? About three years ago, a buck came in here and rubbed it. I guess he was getting some water. And an even bigger one over there, he rubbed that one too. So that's pretty cool. That other cypress buck came in here and hit this. That's a six inch cypress. He also came down here to the hibiscus and he rubbed all in the hibiscus and broke that off. I'm sure he felt like a big boy doing that. So that's pretty cool with buck walking this little pond edge right here, wearing out all these trees. Oh, we got some foam in there. Yeah. So let's good. see. We got bubbles. Yeah, it's just from all their slime. They just froth up real bad. We got a lot of oxygen in there. Uh, did you bring a bucket down? I thought we just dip it and dump it. Just dip, dip it and dump it? it. We can no, do that. I saw a white bucket in the woods over there. It's no, you did. It. it may have holes in it. This is called a dip net. You know that? No. All right. Oh yeah, they're already eating size almost. There they go. Oh, hold it! Well, you're peeing in the pond, dude. You're gonna kill the fish. This is a kids show we're making here. So I went ahead and put three or four in there just to make sure they were okay with the water temperature change and just seeing if we need to acclimate them or not. And they they immediately swam right off. I don't see any coming up to the surface. Sometimes they'll come up and start, you know, kind of flopping at the surface or lay on their side and they have to kind of get acclimated. Uh, but I don't see any of them coming up, so that's encouraging. So mom and dad are going to be down here in just a second and we'll get the rest of these trout put in and we'll get the catfish and the bass put in. What do we got here, buddy? Some bass and... Some bass and some catfish. We got some catfish. All right. For these guys, we're gonna float the bag for a little bit. That way we get the water a little bit closer to what it is now, but if I was a betting man, it's probably really close already. These are a couple smaller bass. I think there's eight over 10 of them in there. So they are fat bellied things. And then the other ones are channel catfish. And so that guy will probably grow another good four or five inches by the end of summer. But those will be fun to catch. So this is evidence there are bass and catfish going into the pond. Hey, which one? I see the catfish. See the catfish? And catfish got whiskers. Yeah, well, yeah, he's got whiskers, but he's also got spines. Look at, look at the belly on that bass. I'm a, she's going to be... I'm going to touch that bass. She's going to... Look at that belly on her. I touch it. So if they start eating feed, these things are going to be catchable by I'm next gonna touch summer, I'm All right, we're just going to let those float there, let the water temperature get a little bit closer while we get these trout put in. Okay. Oh, they're ready to be out of here. Look at that. There's some hearth healthy ones in there. Look at that. Look at that trout. They're not going to stress them out too much, but look at those things. All right, let's get them in. 
Oh yeah, allegedly. <laughs> there they go. about to say that might be it but I thought I heard one in there that's a littler one I thought more of them would have been like that a little bit yeah that's, that's just 12 inches right is that the same kind of trout that catch and screams that's one around. of them there's rainbow trout there's brown trout there's brook trout but these are all rainbow all right see you later guys all right, watch out or you're going to smell like fish. All right, is that all the trout? That was all. And we got 50 pounds high protein feed. So we're going to feed these trout for the next two or three months. Let's see. This is 41% protein, 12% fat. 4% fiber. So that's a high protein quality feed right there. That 50 pound bag should last us, I'd say the next couple months, no problem. At least we're gonna make it last. All right, well that's gonna do it. That was pretty exciting. Um, 30, 29 trout in the pond, a handful of catfish, a handful of largemouth bass, and the pond is loaded with green sunfish. And so that's gonna be the forage for the bass, for them to grow out. And that's part of why we're putting them in there is to help thin out so many green sunfish. But um, probably going to start feeding them here in the next day or so. Uh, the trout, that is. We're going to start feeding them. And uh, we're going to move Dad's corn feeder down to the pond after deer season and really pump the high-protein feed to these trout. And if they don't get eaten by the hawks and owls and everything else, the heron, then I'm hoping we can grow a couple of those trout out to, you know, maybe one and a half, two pounds easy by February or so. Um, so we're going to start feeding them, and uh, Dad's going to keep eyes on things and hopefully keep the birds of prey away. And hopefully we'll be able to come in here with the kids and uh, catch some trout come February, maybe March. So we'll probably fish for them before then, let's be honest. Uh, maybe at Christmas time we may come down here and see if we can catch a few. But uh, I'd really like to see how big we can grow some of them out. So we're not going to pull them all out for sure. But uh, that was it. We appreciate y'all watching along, and that was a lot of fun. And it's the first time putting some trout in that pond. and. If it all works out well and we are able to catch them and pull some out of there and it wasn't a complete waste of money, we'll do it again next year. So thanks for watching. That was fun. Uh -huh. That was fun? You like that? Are you eating my chips? Even though I got spicy chips. You're eating my spicy chips. Well, I'm glad you had fun, buddy. Love you. <laughs>